Hey there, Boots Owen here. This is my timber high level cistern. It's fed by mains water here sometimes, but more recently for the last year and a half, it's been fed by a rainwater pressure system. So I've got a couple of IBCs outside with uh, rainwater and it's pumped up using a pump, an electric pump. It's uh, lower pressure sometimes or higher pressure, I can't remember which. I think it's relatively low pressure compared to the mains. Um, so I've turned this off. I'm going to replace the uh, ball cock in here today because the old one, I was looking at it before and I think it's just old. So loosen that, just a tiny turn. It's only plastic, so it's not very strong. I'm going to replace the ball cock because I didn't trust the old one. The old one that's in there is about eight years old. Float cock or whatever you want to call it. Filling valve. Loosen this. There should be a few drips in it, maybe. I've got a rag just to catch anything. Pull that back, twist it back. I should single-handedly be able to turn this guy off, yeah. What drips. So I'm holding it with my thumb, twisting it. What was happening was the pump, the pump was surging before. So I pulled this little Filter out. Whoa. Drips. Pulled the filter out and cut the snail off the end, but I'm not. I don't have any great confidence in the quality of the plastic on this end. This is the issue here. And so whenever it's filling, it's pretty aggressive, and it stops quite aggressively now that I've taken out that pressure dealy. But when I took it apart, one of the plastic clips somewhere failed. I think it's on this guy here. And I thought all the plastic seemed a bit brittle. So I've got a new valve here. I have to build it up. I can. And it comes with two of those snails. One is high pressure, one is low pressure. So I'm going to put the low pressure one in it. Where are we stuck on here? Right, so that's the valve. I put the rubber washer in. Put this rubber washer in first. Then that's your float. So this just kind of hooks on, if I recall. See, it's just brittle plastic, so it's not not great. Yeah, just kind of force it, I reckon. We'll compare it to the old one. The old one was right down here, like this. I wouldn't mind having it a bit further down to stop it sooner. So it takes a little bit less water, but it's rainwater, so it doesn't really matter. Now this filler is probably noisy because the other one had a bag on the end of it, so it filled into a bag, but I'll put this on and we'll see how it goes. It should just snap on. It's quite a tight fit. Which way do I want it? I want it on this side. That's it on. And I need to read this. Low pressure is blue, white is high pressure, so I'll put low pressure in. Just pushes in like that. And screw this back up, and it should be ready to go. So we'll drop this in, wiggle this in. It has a rubber ring on it, but the reality is there's no overflow on this cistern, so if it goes, we're in a pickle. It's not. this to get it so that it shoots down. That's an anti-siphon valve so it can't suck water back in. That's hand tight. To pull this fellow right back and inside here, I don't know if you want to see it, but there's a little red, there's a little red washer in there. It should be. Uh, pull it right back over that thing. Tighten it on. You could almost do it by hand, but it will drip. So get it tight. Adjustable spanner on it. Remember, you're tightening onto plastic in this case, so it's risky. Now the cistern's full, so let's open it and see what it does. 
Uh, it's dripping out as if there's no washer in it. That's a bit peculiar. So what happened to the washer? Was it not in there? I'm trying to video it, hold the camera in one hand and the cloth below to catch the drips. Let's get that up like this. I don't know where that washer's gone. Very strange that fibre washer was absent. So I'd say that's almost a wee bit loose than other sizes. Another bag there, they look loose as well. And let's see what this one does. Put it in. Slide that back over. The washer should marry up okay. What happens with these is when they get wet, the washer squeezes up a wee bit too, I think. I don't know if the plumber would agree. Right, back to doing it again. Real world. This is an interesting unit here that... Okay, plastic, fiber. You gonna work? Let's see. Let's give that drip a wipe off. Open it very easy, gently. You can see a wee drip, that's better this time. So time might take care of that if the fibre tightens it up. But it's just about another sixth of a turn, something along those lines. The fiber sometimes swells up. If you go too hard, you'll just pull the thread off the plastic and then you're nowhere. All right, we're fully open. Let's flush, see if it fills, how much noise it makes. It's surging again. That's what I don't want. See the way it's surging. I think that's bad for the pump. So what I'm gonna do is cut half of the snail off, I think. I thought when I cut all the snail off, it was too violent. So I've pulled it apart again. Let's get this restrictor out if we can. And nippers that shouldn't. Let's have a look, that's the new one. That's the two parts of the old one. The plastic had gone quite crusty, so I cut it off there and I think that was too much. The high one has a lot more plastic in the way of the spiral. So I think with this one, what I'm gonna do is just chop it off maybe about here where my fingernail is. Let's try that. That's really tight with these. The right tool would be better, but that's it. So chop that off. Let's put that in and see if that makes a difference. surging. So this time I'm just putting in the filter mesh only. Put that back on with the fibre washer present. So it stopped. Yeah, it stops. So it's quite an enormous flow, but it's not surging. So I don't know, I would monitor it, but I think that's how you replace the valve anyways, and how you adjust for pressure, but I guess in here I could chop it back to just one spiral, or to leave maybe half a spiral to restrict it a bit more. So I'm going for three quarters of a spiral this time, or leaving a little bit out, we'll see if that makes a difference. I'll put it in, and we'll just flush again. So will it drip? What's gonna happen? The tank's full, I think, let's see. <laughs> Still surging, that's a bit weird. I might just have to take it right back. So 
it seems to have slowed down a little bit. It, well, it surged a bit at the start for some unknown reason and then kept just filled normally. So I'm kind of happy with that now. I think it's fine. I think I'll just leave it like that. But I wouldn't have thought I would have had to take off so much of the flow restrictor. Pressure reducer. There you go. Looks like we're dry. I'll keep an eye on it. I normally keep an eye on it for a day or two. I try not to over tighten things. You tell me what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, toilet people. See you later.